Hi, this is Greg from gregsoul.com. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on if you have a MicroTik router that happens to have a PoE out port to uh, change that to be the WAN interface, right? So in a lot of home environments, you want the, um, say like a HAP AC light or something like that, or, um, you know, some equivalent, maybe even just a, a hex uh, device that's got a PoE out. Generally that PoE out is on port Ether 5. And so you want that device to be able to power up the CPE up on the roof, right? So the CPE will cable directly back into the HAP light, the hex, whatever it happens to be on that PoE port, act as the WAN interface. You'll pull a DHCP IP off of there. So how do you take one of those stock devices and quickly convert it, keeping the, the configuration as default as possible to allow for uh, that WAN port to be shifted from Ether 1 over to Ether 5. And in newer versions, say 642.1 and above, it's quite simple. Um, first thing you're going to do is uh, plug into Ether 2, 3, or 4. Um, we're going to change, we're going to go into interfaces and interface list here and change on the WAN interface, change that to Ether 5, say OK. Then we're going to go to the bridge interface and we're going to take Ether 5 off of the bridge and we're going to instead add Ether 1 over to that bridge. And that should be all that is required. Surprisingly simple. Just kidding. You got to go to DHCP client and change that to Ether 5 so that it will now pull an Ethernet address and it should be fine. That should be all that is required. So previously you had to go into IP firewall and change some filter settings and some NAT settings. Um, they've since changed it to uh, now utilizing the, uh, the WAN list, uh, right? So the interface list, even things like uh, tool Mac server, the Mac servers now use LAN lists as, uh, as well. So uh, it keeps the configuration very simple, easy to modify, um, and there you go.